Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. So we're going to go at this 1400 again there and uh, change all this stuff over. Put that um, resistor on in the new coil here, the new plug wires. And I don't know if we fried this thing or not. There's no real way to test it. I don't... I don't particularly want to start mixing parts here, if you know what I mean, like using the one that's on it and just change the coil and all the wires and uh, put that resistor on. Um, it was one of these coils that was on it when it went. I don't remember which one, but that one didn't seem to work. Put on another one. This one didn't seem to work. Put on the original one, and that one didn't seem to work, so I kind of think it's fried this little module thing right there in it, so that sucks. But, uh, yeah, we got to uh, change all this over, I guess, here. So we'll go over to the container, and i got to find a little spot for this uh, resistor to fit. Probably under the dash, if I can get under there enough, hopefully. I know sometimes they put them right on the coils, but I think that looks kind of trashy. And I've got to use... Uh, it didn't come with the... Uh, which I'm going to call it uh, mounting bracket. So I've got the uh, old original one here, and it might mount to this. I, I don't know. I think that would look trashy, though. I'm going to probably put it up underneath the dash. But anyways, let's get over there. We'll get some tools and uh, see what we can do. All right, it's going to be tricky uh, showing you the video of uh, part of putting this in, but I think I'm going to put this regular in, regular in where the old 6-volt regulator fits in there. I think I'm going to do it there. And that's pretty close to the uh, where we got to join on there and then run the black down to the coil, the new coil. So, anyways, let's see if we can get this out of here. All right, let's see if we can get this out of here. I got her unscrewed, anyways. Uh, kind of fell in a little bit, but uh, there she is. Old Delco Remy we made in Canada. Ooh, look at this. I never looked behind one of them before, but that's kind of cool. Hang on a second, let's have a better look. I guess these are little coils that heat up between the wires, between that one. Must reduce the power a bit. Interesting. Pretty cool, but made in Canada, eh? That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm just wiring up this resistor. I'm using a little bit thicker wire. Figured that'd be a good idea. I'm not sure over there. So this is going to go up to the key switch. Well, the little terminal block I got in there. And then the key switch turns this on. And it'll go through this guy. And then we've got to run this one down, down to the coil here. So we've got to make another cord. So we'll get a little bit of this. Probably too thick, but I've either got too thin or I got too thick. So I can't have the best of both worlds, I guess. So hopefully there's no issue with this stuff being too thick. I wouldn't think so. But stranger things have happened, isn't it? Hopefully it's, it's all right. I should have gone and got another roll of wire, but I'm like, well, it should work. Ooh, that's a sharp one. All right, so we'll get the pinchers here. I think I'm probably going to need one yeah, that size. Well, actually, I should test the new coil here for Ooh, sizes. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Pretty good multi tool. The cutters aren't tremendous on them. They cut and then it gets jammed a little bit. Okay, that one sh should be good. Into this fella here. Oh no. That was 
not a good thing. Okay, looks like I need to go fishing now. Oh, I got lucky there, she just popped right out. So yeah, I'm gonna mount this in the exact same, well, one of the holes that that six volt regulator thingy was in. If I can get this to spin on here, that is. supposed to matter which way they go. Okay, that should be good. Alright, I didn't really show you a mountain under here, but I'll get her on here and then uh, we'll start running this down, uh, down where she's got to go. Okay, the light's not super tremendous, but we'll do what we can with what we got, of course. This kind of run down. That's got to come down through there. I'm going to have to probably run new zip ties. And that over there will leave a little extra, maybe. All right. I don't think I'm going to fish it through that zip tie. Let me get it through this one. Maybe this one. Makes it tight, but. Okay, and then down through here and onto the coil, our coil wire. All right, I think that'll work. Let's get that cleaned off here. I probably don't need wire this big, but anyways. There, gotta take that out. Okay, now fit on to there. New coil, that is. We've got to change all the plug wires too, but I'm gonna do that after. Uh, look at the moisture in here, eh? Wow, cold and. Uh, anyways. Okay, I guess everything's good up there. I've got a little bit of extra zip tie into the bundle up there. Should be good down to there. Okay, I gotta go get some some tools. Well, let's take off this, I guess. So I guess that it's probably fried the thing in there, the module. I'm thinking so that gets the negative and then the two positive. Get into that cap after I redo that too. 
Um, okay. Yeah, that should be good. I'm gonna go get some tools for taking off this coil, and I have to take the whole thing off because you have to. Uh, there's a little pinch bolt in behind there that you have to uh, put those on and off with. All right, we'll take this guy off of here. Bit of a tight fit. The front one's better. Getting it back on, which is the fun part. That's the fun part. I could probably actually get it there, but I know I got to hold a nut on the other side of this thing. It's kind of a nuisance, but. We'll just take it right off here. Okay, now I need my screwdriver. A new coil, of course. Now this is positive on that side, okay. So yeah, these I've got to throw it on the floor. <laughs> By the Butterfinger. Okay, so this is tricky because you gotta hold. Well, try to hold that. Just have to loosen it a little bit. There you go. That should be enough to slide her off. Get out of here. And the new one. Still nicely wrapped up. Okay, so positive on that side. Ooh, it's a little bit smaller. Get her close there and then we'll uh, Get straightened up a bit. Okay. I'm going a little bit with it, maybe. Oh, not that much. Yeah, so we can see the numbers. Yeah, that should be fine. See, my uh, lens cap thing on my camera has been acting up today again. Every once in a while, it just doesn't open all the way. Okay. This should be good. Nice. Put that on there for now, I guess. Started. So if you got to get that lifter cover, rocker cover thing off here, come on. That would make it kind of interesting. With that thing right there. Okay, that one's mostly started. Can't block the light or we will see nothing. Hmm. This might be fun. Might have to go get a short socket because I don't think I'm gonna yeah, I'm going to have to get a short half inch. Oh, I think I might have got it. I was just fiddling with it there and might have just got her. Interesting, I just 
just can't get that uh, socket in here though. It's just like because of the threads are a bit too long on that screw there. Let's make it a little more challenging. I got lots of. Yeah, that's going to be fun getting that in. You know what? I think I put that upside down. Yeah, I did. Give me a sec, I'll switch that over. All right, that should be better. Yeah, because the threads stick out a bit on this side here off that uh, bolt. So I get a little bit uh, better clearance if it's going the other way. It should be all good. It should be all good. It should be good. Okay, lovely. So, the positive side here. Can get this one and then the other one's gonna have to be uh, coming from the uh, electronic ignition module when we get that far. Alright, well that's about as far as I can go with that part right now. We'll have to uh, change all this too in here now, I think. Come on, let go. Let go, will ya? Let go. Ugh. Holy smokes. I wasn't on there that tight the other day. Bud. A little clip, you don't want to lose that. Okay. Now the fun part begins. The fun just started. So this little guy's got to come off. Uh, two screws. That should poke right out again, I would think. Well, we'll get this off here first. Now, I'm going to just take a picture of this so I don't have to look up again. Okay, should be good. Like I say, this thing's probably fine. But I don't know. Get on her butt, juicer. Day and night here. In the summertime, it's more of the screaming motorcycles and the stupid Japanese garbage cars, I'm going to say, because they are zipping up and down the road. Terrible things. Terrible. That shit just pop out of there. Okay, now I changed, yeah, that's not going to fit back through there. So I'll have to cut, cut them off, because I know they were like miles too long. All right. 
great. Too bad we got to change this thing, but I'm gonna say it's probably fine. But I don't know. Should make sure they're both the same. Oh, 1244A. 44A, a little bit different sticker on them. But lot 11 on this one, lot 35 on this one. Interesting. Okay. Let's uh, fish these through first, I guess, here. Should be good. I think it went on that one. Oh, it's not sitting quite right there. Okay, good thing I took a picture because <laughs> there's other holes there. So yes, yeah, this one, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, that one. And one near the top there somewhere. All right, I guess I'll just use the same screws. Okay, that one's started. like to see a mount hole on the other side I think they don't seem to do that so okay let's look at the picture again here yeah it should be fine there okay so these have to get routed and that little thing needs to get down underneath there too probably should have Tuck that in before I uh... probably before I put this thing in here. I might have to take that off again. Okay, now we're good. I got them triggered out here again. That's good. So now where'd my kit go? Where did I put my kit? Uh oh, oh here, right for me. Okay, so now we need this guy, and this one doesn't, the little magnets, it doesn't matter which way they go on. Well, it does, but it doesn't matter in any certain orientation. There's a lot of play in that. Hmm, that's gears down in there. I'm probably going to be replacing this, this thing soon, I would imagine, too. And I'll put it at a time a bit. Okay, well, there's these wires out here. We need uh, the negative and then the positive. We did that around here and then onto there. So we'll cut them maybe about there somewhere. Tremendously great cutters, but they do somewhat get through it. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to need a fairly 
small one, but I gotta get one big enough that it'll go on that stud. What did I use before? These little red ones, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I need my crimper too. These ones aren't the easiest to crimp onto here. Actually, I don't need to fold that over. Ow! Sharp! Strange wire. It's like once it stays bent somewhere, it doesn't go back. It's memory wire. Well, what the heck's going on here? Never seen that happen before. <laughs> really? One little frickin' strand here that just doesn't want to cooperate with me. Well, isn't that weird? I don't know whether these will stay on here. I don't really want to use a bigger one. Uh, what else have I got on my kit here? See, the blue ones are a bigger wire diameter, but a smaller hole. I've got these yellow ones here, but they're like for huge wires. I'm gonna have to try to make that work, I guess. Well. There we go. Okay, where's my crimping machine? Red one's on the end. Yes, baby. Okay. Just noticed that uh, stupid lens cover again was messing up there. It's not opening all the way, so I can't see it on my little screen on the camera, but probably on the video you'll see like a little, like a dark kind of like that stupid thing. Okay, that should be good for that one. This one. I'll bring it behind maybe like that again and then put the thing on here. Boy, that stuff's weird to cut, that's for sure. I don't think I got through it. 
There we go. Got her that time. But it's such a thin... You can just peel it off with your fingernails. Weird. Okay, another little red one. but it's nice to have them a little long. Okay. Lovely. Too long. Yeah, should we all right? All right, we'll try to leave it there and tighten it. Should be good. Don't over tighten that. It's only a little nut. Okay, all should be good there. Pull that a little more. Okay. So now we've got to get this back together. And a little clip thing. That's right. And then uh, we'll use the new rotor. Oh no, sorry, I gotta use this rotor. That's right, it's the same rotor. Make sure she's all good, man, it's all right. And then it went on this way. I think, yeah. Okay, now. On. And then the cap can only go on one way. Just like that. Okay, let's switch some cables here now, too. Well, the rest of this should be good. We better put uh, the dipstick back in before I forget about that. Kind of a weird dipstick. It only wants to go in like a certain way. I don't know. I don't understand that. That might have to go to the back side. I might have to move this. I don't know. It's probably best there, but I'm afraid of hitting that when you're bringing it out. But if you're careful, you should be fine. Okay, so let's see. Change the cables too. So, we need uh, the longest one first. Let's pull them all out here. Well, that's definitely the short one. That's the one for the distributor. Okay, so that's the longest one. Good, and then we'll do... The next longest one. that 
feller. It's gonna fire right up, isn't it? Better. Oh, it's gonna be some moisture. That's for sure. And that's kind of a sh short one. This one, I think, here. Yeah. Short stuff. Okay. Quite long, actually. All right, and then the last one here. Holy smokes! That should be. I'm getting them mixed up. Yeah. Should be this one. Lots crimped around this one, don't they? I don't know if I like that little bit sticking out. It shouldn't make a difference though. Hopefully not. There we go, and we gotta do the coil here too. Yep. No good. No good. Come on, you dirt, what's going on there? There. Okay, holy smokes, I think we might have her finished. So, I am going to do a bit of cleaning up some parts and stuff and bits and pieces here, and uh, and we'll see if she'll fire up for us. Well, let's see if she'll fire up here. I don't know, I haven't had it going yet, so I mean, it's cold. Manifold's cold and everything, so I haven't cheated here or nothing. Uh, turn the gas on. I guess we'll see if we get any spark here. Here we go. You're kidding me, right? Okay. 
might even stop when I get down there and get my seat cover. Woo! Come on, baby, don't give up on me now. <laughs> so where his tractor is parked there, on the other side and the inside there on the, on the road is about where it quit on me. <laughs> Coming back up before, I'm like, oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. But it ran actually for quite a while before it failed, which is weird, but I think it must have fried that coil. Anyways, I guess we could go for a little ride down where we normally do and then back up on the road and then I'll uh, hit her down and see if I can get her to quit on me. <laughs> Better not. Pretty good light so on it, really. Decent. Boy, this steering box, so I don't know, it must be so wore out inside. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Like I say, I'm not going to be driving it every day for 100 kilometers every day, right? So let's, I don't really think there's a point in changing, changing it out. If you're going to be using it all the time, well, yeah, maybe, but... Oh, the lit up, the lit up gauges are kind of nice. They just don't have that. Oh, well. Not too often I drive at night anyway, so... It's sounding pretty good. This would be a horrible spot right here for it to quit, though. I'd have to get the back out, I think, to uh, fish that thing out again. Quit here. And this thing is one heavy tractor. Like, it takes a lot to pull this thing. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm going to grab that seat cover, I think. I got uh, one down in the garage for it. See if we can make her up here without slipping and sliding her too much. Oh, a little slippage. Not bad, though. Not bad. All right, can't tell where I am, but let's, let's should be fourth there. Oh, that's actually handling it pretty good. All right, I'm going to go drill the drive around. Hopefully she don't quit on me. Sweet. Hopefully it doesn't. Well, she didn't quit on us, so that's good. That's a good thing. That makes me happy. <laughs> doesn't quit yet anyways. She might quit. She might quit yet. You never know. See all the turkey tracks all over the place. All these turkeys we got running around here now. There might even be some up in these trees. I don't know. I don't know. Holy smoke, she didn't quit. I can't believe it. Well, I was going to hook on this blower tonight and just put her all away, but I, I think I'll just... Ah, I don't know. I'll put her... I'll put her on at some point. It's not a big deal tonight, I guess. But holy smoke, she ran. She's still running. I haven't really idled it down yet, so we'll have to... Uh, Try that here. That seems happy enough. I'm getting about 20, maybe 20 psi and oil pressure there at that speed. That's a hood rattling a bit there. It's up around 48 there maybe now. Pretty good oil pressure. It's not farting or nothing, so that's good. Oh well, I guess we'll put her away for tonight. She's a good old girl. Was doing good before though until that problem, but
That's no problem doing. That's exactly what it did when it quit there before. Just blah. I'm like, oh, that's not good. And then it's fired up here again. Nice. That's what I like to see anyways. That's good. Down to about 600, uh, maybe a little more than 600 there. Looks pretty good. in there kind of before anything happens so that's that hood doing that I gotta fix that too uh, anyways I'm gonna shut the gas off I guess and let it run dry one other thing I gotta do too when I put this radiator in here the uh, drain hose the drain hose has got kind of pitched down the side there and it's not not letting anything out if it had to so I gotta get this hood loose down here and pull it out and then reroute that down the side here or something it just got pinched down the side there so anyways uh, seat cover on. Woo, that was cold. Alright, seems to be running pretty good there now. Hopefully it keeps doing that. Hopefully it'll keep running like that. Sounds really good. I'm gonna burn the coil out. Uh. <laughs> and we'll pull the battery off of here. Sounded like the battery was fine. This one's got a big bulge on the side, but. Um, so now this thing under here, I just wanna feel it and see if it's hot at all. Ooh, yeah, that's freaking really hot. Holy, jeez. See, I don't really like that idea too much. Boy, that thing was just... Where is it? Right there. Yeah, it's right there. Just screaming hot. It's a good thing I... Uh, must be working. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a problem there I don't like. Let's go too hot on that. Oh, get this out of the way here. That uh, oil pressure line was right against that thing. I don't think you want anything on that. That's going to melt whatever touches it, I think. So we moved her up out of the way there, and I might have to uh, maybe get that uh, one screw off again and then reroute that whole thing. Well, there we go. Holy smokes. Looks like we fixed her again. If it keeps fixed, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to just keep field testing her, I guess, and see what happens. But uh, holy smokes, a little bit of a work job changing that over, but not too bad. It wasn't too bad at all, really. Well, that's good. We got her going again, and hopefully it's going to go for a while. Uh, we'll uh, test her out, though, and see how we can do with her. Anyways, uh, if we get some snow, hopefully we can uh, test that blower out, too. I want to try that blower, too, and show you how useless it is but anyways um, that and uh, I'll to try to get out before the uh, snowplow guy comes in and does the road out here so um, 
or we can just do our yard here I guess too. Uh, it only shoots one way though which is kind of stupid because you got to make sure you I'd have to drive out first and then do the first drag it in and keep blowing her that way I guess towards the bush so well, anyways we'll get that figured out whenever we get a bit of snow I don't think we're supposed to have any for a wee while now so it'll be a little while till that happens <gasps> that's a lot of speaking <laughs> but anyways that's it for today thanks again for watching catch you all later and holy smokes we're running again you guys have a good day